Hello everyone. So uh, today I'm going to show you how we are going to uh, critically simulate this design. This chair is what we designed uh, previously from our uh, from which is shown in the previous video. Usually this could fail under two conditions. The first one is um, if we like apply the loads from the top and uh, it could fail either from these joints due to uh, uh, the direct weight or it could fail due to the buckling of these legs or failure from the shear points and all. Uh, the other failure mode is like if someone rocks this chair, uh, so how it's going to fail? So let's see how uh, this chair is going to withstand both situations. We select evaluate, then we select uh, simulations uh, express analysis wizard. So once the window is uh, loaded, uh, we go to add a fixture. So here, uh, a fixture means where the design is fixed at ideal reference. Okay. So uh, this one is actually a ideal geometry we use, actually an assumption in uh, mathematical modeling. So uh, this point uh, is fixed. Uh, so like even if we do these calculations for a fixed end beam, so we use two fixed ends. So this is actually the boundary condition of this uh, case. Then we select next add a force. So we are selecting the force to be applied at the top plane. So it's Q and S 1000 Newton assuming that a person is around 950 kilograms sorry 995 kilograms in weight. Okay. So this is also done. Okay. So now we are selecting next. We need to choose a material. So usually this kind of uh, hollow bars are made with a process called cold rolled or cold farming. So we select uh, AISI 1020 because that's the most famous type. Uh, it can differ based on the manufacturer. So I'm using this one because it's uh, uh, it has all the properties which I want. So we go to next and we run the simulation. Okay. So now uh, we have uh, the simulation, it's loaded. So now uh, we can uh, go towards the uh, stress distribution. So here SOLIDWORKS uses uh, Vodmysis. Vodmysis is a very famous method of uh, stress calculation. So you can use uh, direct stress method, you can use principal stress method, you can do whatever. Uh, but you need to change the uh, uh, settings. Uh, so here what happens is uh, the critical failure point is been uh, given as this area and then it's this area here. Uh, but the design says that uh, the minimum safety factor is 55. So we are having a very high safety factor but still uh, we cannot rely on this safety factor because these welded joints may not give 100% strength so it could be like 80% so still so we have uh, like around uh, 40 uh, the safety factor so this design is highly safe highly reliable under this kind of loadings so it if a person waiting around 90 kilos, 95 kilos sit on this chair, so nothing is going to happen. So we are completely done. Uh, so the next way of failing is uh, failing due to misusing this chair. I would say if someone rocks the chair, like so because we rock it, right? We we chairs like this way so 
that's a common that's a very common thing happening so that's the most dangerous point where chairs could fail we see a lot of chairs they move from this kind of joints so uh, that's the most worst case uh, in how this kind of uh, structures could fail so let's analyze that scenario so we go to the uh, simulation express analysis wizard then we go with uh, starto we add a fixture so here what happens is let's assume that only this part is fixed and um, we are going to apply the load from the top the same load 1000 newtons applied from top so uh, what I what I would suggest is the shearing point will be somewhere around here so let's see how the software is going to calculate it next we choose the material we use the same uh, material so we run the simulation okay so actually we, we should imagine the opposite way around um, or like uh, so if you call this stress distribution as I said so here it is the critical point uh, where the failure could happen so I think uh, this is the highest area uh, so we see uh, the entire stress is coming on the back legs and uh, this is actually not a very friendly scenario to us in a recent design like this so what happens is uh, if you take the safety factor here the minimum safety factor is 4.5 so previously we assumed it to be like around uh, 4 point uh, uh, sorry 40 um, so here it is 4.5 so if you take around 80 percent so it's like 3 I would say so uh, rocking this chair is safe okay uh, but we are having a safety factor of around 3 with the real time welding conditions so therefore uh, still you could rock uh, you could like uh, take small angles uh, but uh, what is recommended is actually not to rock a chair which is designed in this way uh, because it is not uh, a very good uh, a very good scenario but if we use side beams or side bars from here to here so we see that we could prevent uh, shearing from here so likewise we can optimize this design so that is not uh, actually that is uh, not the lesson here so here I'm teaching you how to use this software uh, it's very easy so uh, you can simulate anything in this way but still uh, there are like limitations um, because this is a hollow steel bar the simulation process would be a little bit complex so you need to do some some changes to the design so I think uh, you will learn it with time so uh, okay this is all for today and uh, thank you very much for staying with us uh, hope you like this video bye